Hello, everybody. This is Joseph P. Farrell. It is Friday, September 23rd, 2011. This is news and views from the Nefarium. As you can see, I've got my usual thinking cap on. And uh, a couple of announcements, and then we'll get down to business because there's been some interesting news in the world of physics and some interesting news from China. The first announcement is that Saucers, Swastikas, and PSYOPs is at the publisher. Again, I do not know exactly when Adventures Unlimited is planning to have that out. Uh, I'm still guessing around December to January. As soon as I hear back from them that they have some sort of uh, projected publication date, I will certainly make an announcement um, on my Facebook page, on the website and then through one of these news and views. Um, it shouldn't take them too long to get this one done because they've already done the cover art. Um, I think they've already done the back cover write up for it so um, we're gonna we're gonna keep you posted on that as soon as I hear anything from them I'll let you know. The second announcement is tonight Daniel and I are uh, trying out one of our technologies to test for the video conference that we're hoping to have. Our problem has been finding the technology and making this whole thing secure. Um, but we are planning to test that tonight. This is different than most of our um, video chats because it's open to everybody. And the reason for that is that we're trying to get as many people there just to see if the technology can handle it. So uh, I hope to see everybody. It will be at 6 o'clock um, Pacific Time, 8 o'clock Central Time, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. We're probably going to go about an hour to an hour and a half um, since this was kind of an unscheduled event. But anyway, we may crash and burn, folks. We, <laughs> we don't know. So if you don't see us there, um, it's, it's, uh, if we do crash and burn, I, I will post a note up on, on Facebook and on the website. But um, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I think we found at least one good platform. We're still looking into some others that don't cost an arm and a leg. Anyway, fizz.org, and I'm going to be blogging about this uh, probably either tomorrow or Sunday, sometime coming up closely this week, and probably the other story. Fizz.org. There you see, whoops, over here. There you see a picture of Albert Einstein. And uh, this actually is an AP article, but uh, Fizz.org is reporting that last week CERN, the, the European Nuclear Research Agency that's running the Large Hadron Collider, has reported recording speeds of particles in excess of the speed of light. And that, of course, was one of the principal pillars of Einstein's special theory of relativity, all right? And the reason, in a nutshell, the reason that Einstein came up with this kind of speed of light as the upper limit of velocity, that as you approach the speed of light, the mass of an object would tend to approach infinity, that the reason for this was that there were problems with the Newtonian view of the transference of information at nearly instantaneous speeds and Einstein attempted to get around that problem with his speed light, speed of light speed limit. Anyway, so scientists at CERN have kicked up their particle accelerator and they found particle, particles traveling at, and this is very significant and I want to mention this because the, the importance of this is that physicists, you're probably already hearing that physicists are a little reluctant to abandon the speed of light speed limit and there are good reasons. The problem is that phys.org is telling us that the scientists measured this velocity break as being 60 nanoseconds. One more time. 60 nanoseconds faster than the calculated speed of light and that's 60 billionths of a second all right that's a six zero over one comma zero 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 comma zero 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 comma zero 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 
All right, that's essentially what they're trying to tell you. Now, the reason that I, th I personally think that's important and why I think physicists who are saying that they're reluctant to abandon special relativity's speed limit, and I think justifiably so, is that this speed limit break could mean any number of things. It could mean, first of all, that those physicists who have, in the past few decades, been measuring small variations in the velocity of light and averaged a constant, you know, a, a theoretical value for c, the, the velocity of light, that these physicists are reluctant to do it simply because these variations may or may not represent something significant about the geometry of space-time. And that's really what relativity theory is. You have to remember that relativity theory is, especially in general relativity, it's what physicists call a metric theory. All right, It's based, in other words, on the notion that physical forces are the result of the geometries of space-time. They're not forces in the classical sense that you and I think of them. All right. They're the result of a structure to space-time. So I think physicists are within, within the bounds of reason not to leap up and down and say that the entire model, at least in terms of relativistic physics, has come crashing down. It hasn't. Um, but it is interesting to me that the story is being reported in such a way as to suggest that some physicists are thinking in those terms. What sort of structure or model is going to come out of this if they indeed do rethink everything around the idea of the speed, li the, the speed of light not being an, an upper limit on velocity or information transfer, because that's really what Einstein was concerned about, was, was the transference of information. If that happens, then this is going to be an interesting story to watch. 60 billion or 60 nanoseconds is, in a certain sense, a significant departure from measured values, at least as far as I'm aware of. There may be physicists or engineers out there that are aware of other measures that weren't so significant or maybe perhaps more. I'm not aware of any. This is the first uh, story that I'm aware of that's reported something like this. So in terms of, of the variations of measurements of the velocity of light, this is rather significant. The problem is now we are going to have to wait for some confirmation of this experiment, most likely as this AP article that, that phys.org is reporting. Most likely that experiment will be performed in Japan or, or the United States, in other words, outside of Europe for s some more independent confirmation. If that's the case, then they may indeed have to rethink some aspects of their theories. And it'll be very interesting to see if, in doing so, they begin to revive some notions of physicists such as Pascual Jordan, who was one of the, uh, quite honestly, he was a Nazi physicist. But he was also very instrumental, a key figure in the development of quantum mechanics. and. There's probably physicists out there that know of, of his contribution to the Bronsticka Jordan hypothesis. And part of that hypothesis came out of Jordan's um, work involving the notion that the constants of physics weren't constant in the sense that most people understand them, that they varied slightly over time. And he, he and his uh, colleagues evolved a cosmology out of that notion. So it'll be interesting to see if physicists go back and, and grasp some of those theories and see if they need to be updated as a means of interpreting some of this data or not. But um, it's an interesting story, but uh, I wanted to kind of get on it so that people didn't jump up and down and say, oh, hooray, Einstein is collapsing. No, he's not collapsing yet, folks. <laughs> it's a long way from that. But anyway, that's the news and views uh, from the Nefarium for Friday, uh, September 23rd, 2011. Again, a reminder to everybody about our video technology test uh, chat tonight. And again, if Daniel and I have any problems with it, I'll be posting a notice. See you on the flip side, folks. God bless.